What is up, realist? Welcome to another episode here at On The Real Fishing. Thank y'all so much for stopping by and checking out the video. Today begins episode one of the beginner trials. What are the beginner trials you say? Basically, I need to learn to settle down and learn how to fish specific methods. I have a big issue of switching between things too quickly and not really settling down and learning. So today, our choices are, we are gonna be settling down and using a basic spinning rod, got my Ozark Trails grit stick here, and we are going to be rocking the wacky worm. So, what's a wacky worm look like? Literally, you just have a Cinco style worm or a stick worm hooked in the middle. Um, they do make uh, specific hook types for it, um, but I don't know if you necessarily need the specific hook types for it. I don't know, but we're going to take our, wad, or our rod here. We're gonna take our wacky worm. I've got a couple different colors, a couple different sizes, and we're gonna go out there and try to see if we can catch a fish. So come on, join the trial. Let's go see, let's go catch some fish. I'm trying to see if there's a spot over here I can maybe cast. Like I said, the water is up a little bit today. Not much, I might could cast here. Think we should give it a try here first? I mean, why not? Right? Look, uh, this is the crazy thing. The water has come up, so a lot of the vegetation, a lot of the trees are kind of back underwater here where I'm at. Um, but, so we're going to see. So a lot of the what was um, bank just a couple days ago is now underwater. Now, of course, alongside our, uh, our trial here, we are going to be doing some live bait fishing. If you guys saw the last video, uh, worms are king. Worms will always be king. I have never caught that many catfish. Make sure you take a chance to see it. It's not the best video ever, um, but as far as editing goes, this is the way I was doing it. We were just out having fun with the kiddo, but my goodness, it was a day of fishing for sure. All right, we're gonna get this wormed up and out there. We'll be right back. All right, got this wormed up, ready to toss it out here. Now, of course, I'm gonna do side cast. I've got treeage, I've got foliage all over the place. So we're just gonna toss this out yonder because I'm gonna try to be fishing with the worm over here where I think there are maybe some stuff. I don't know, we'll see. All right, old Bob is out over to the left. I'm gonna watch that just for a little bit. Look, there we go. We've got a shad running already. So it kind of gets me excited. That there are some bigger predator fish out this way. I'm wondering if I need to use one of my sticks. I think I'm gonna use my stick instead of setting it down. So, so I can grab one of these. These are great little sticks. You can flip out just like that. Stick them in the old ground and use them to keep your, your rod and stuff up. Looks like something's already on it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try this out. We're gonna chase after that bobber if we have to, but right now we've got our green pumpkin, four inch yum dinger on here. I think it's a four inch. Let me double check. Yep, yep, four inch yum dinger and the green pumpkin. We're gonna be chucking it out here. And we're gonna be just like I said, doing the slow roll, trying to learn this out and uh all that stuff so my scary my biggest thing i'm afraid of is throwing off the worm now, i've got it rigged in the just where it goes through the body there's also a way that you can use and get an o-ring where it turns the hook parallel with the worm and there's a, there's discussions between folks as far as whether or not that's a better setup or not we're going to go with this setup because i don't have any o-rings and we're learning so all right first cast all right, that wasn't very far. As I said, I'm just using a Ozark Trail grit stick here. I'm gonna let that sink down to the bottom. And I've you know, heard tons and tons of people talk about watching the line. Looks like we're at the bottom here. So we're gonna reel up our slack, we'll pull it up, let it fall again. That's all we're gonna do. Reel up slack, pick it up, let it fall. So we're basically going to keep doing that until we get a fish, hopefully. It's the goal, right? <laughs> what kind of places do you all like to fish 
this wacky rig style? That is the question for this video. If you guys would talk, ask, respond in the comments, it'd be awesome. I want to go over here. I've got so much stuff, and I'm not good at backhanding. Maybe I can, yeah, maybe I can go this way. We're gonna, gonna squeeze, 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 squeeze. Because I want to get over here in front of these bushes, but we'll see what happens. That's not the best. Of course, this is weightless, um, so recommended way to fish these things is supposedly weightless. You can get there's different ways you can put stuff in it too, though. Um, so I'm gonna try to do it a little faster, give it some wiggle wiggles. See if we get anything to bite on it. Like I said, it's super shallow. Like I said, the water has come up probably a good, I'm gonna say probably a good foot here from when we were, we were here out a couple days ago. So. I'll right. give this another little cast here, oops. Not too much up. All right, go down. All right. I'm going to give another little cast out, out far deep again. I see some ripples out yonder, but I would love to see if there's anybody bit out there. Oh, well, I just let go of the line altogether before I cast. So that's something you don't want to do. Flip your bail, hold your line, and pray it goes somewhere you want it to. All right, so we are going to, I'm going to let this guy simmer down in the water for a second. I'm going to put my rod down, which is probably not smart. And we're going to reposition old bobber here. He has drifted, drifted up into the goodness. I'm pretty sure there are fish over there, but I definitely want to have a good visual if anything gets it. Okay. Uh, I know there's stuff right there. I've been watching stuff hit that water over there but it might not be stuff that's wanting worms today i don't know that's the weird part yesterday catfish just about anything you could think of rock bass all kind of stuff we're just tearing worms up and of course i'm hung how i just put it in and let it fall well we get the Tie up another wacky rig, looks like. Let's see if we got free. Make sure my line's tight. Feels like I've got something still on there. Yeah, let's see what's up. Let's see what happened. All right, looks like everybody's still happy. Nothing crazy wrong with the with the worm. I'm wondering if something might have snapped, grabbed it. I doubt it, but you never know. All right, give some more space. Put the bail. And as we get a chance to, we'll work our way further out, out into more open water. So right now I saw a couple splashes that were out here that I really wanted to try to hit this cove first. So I was kind of glad I was able to find an open spot since the water is high, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. It is a beautiful day, by the way, too, to actually be out here fishing. Temperature's not too bad. I said it rained for the past couple of days, so that's probably going to affect our fishing abilities a little bit. There's a lot more rocks and stuff here than I was expecting as well. And there's something chasing something right there. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. The bait, I'm willing to bring that bobber in closer, but as close as that uh, fish was chasing. <sighs> Trying to keep a real tight cast. I mean, such, such, you know, such dense foliage here. Like I said, and one of the things I can't wait for is one of the days I can eventually get a kayak or something. I don't want a boat necessarily because I don't have any kind of vehicle to really get boats out. That's a lot of extra work, but <clears throat> getting a kayak 
I think it would be awesome to be able to get to spots like over there. You see like the trees are kind of out in the water. Ooh, and they got the, the, the shade covering them. That's another reason I want to be back here because the time that I'm fishing, the sun's going to be right over top of our heads really quickly. And uh, definitely want to uh, find where the fish are going to be hiding. All right. So I think we are going to move to our next location now and uh, see if we can't get anybody to, to snap onto the old yum dinger in just a second. All right, see we're moved to a little bit more open water spot here. We'll see if it changes anything. Go over there with the worm. Oh, well. Is it on? Look at there. First drop. What was what we got? Oof. Yep, she's a little broom. Look at there, look at there. Didn't even drop it in very long. Look at that one. Oh, well, goodness gracious, I'm the worst at home fish. Come here, buddy. Sorry, friend. Sorry, friend. Just trying to show how pretty you are. Alright. There we go. Let's get him back on. Oh, trying to put you back in the water, buddy. There we go. Let's go back on, buddy. Go on. Wrong way. Go on. There you go. Let's get back to the trial here. Now, in this situation, like I said, we still got the dinger. Green pumpkin, four inch. Weightless. Hopefully we can get it out a little further here. Nope, not really. Just not great at casting. But same thing. I'm gonna let it sink. And uh, see what happens. Alrighty. I'm gonna cast number two in this spot. I'm gonna slowly work my way over here to the cover. See if we can get lucky. over the top of my bobber here so I'm kind of worried. I'm snagged so not a big deal now. This is a nice, a decent pound test line on this rod. All right, I think that was definitely uh, a lost, a lost lure. Yep. All right, let's see what else we got here in the old Ozark trail bag. We don't need that one. We're not doing that today. We are wacky wig, wacky rig only. All right. So, go back with the green pumpkin again. Or, we can try something different. I think I want to try these. This is a, a five inch uh, watermelon pearl laminate. I really like these colors. This is one of my favorites. I actually got an extra pack of these hiding at home just in case they disappear. So, so the big thing is, Got the hook all the way almost up into the thing. See if we can get it to come down without messing up my spool too much. All right. So, it's like just ignore, ignore the bobber stop there. That is for in case 
I'm gonna do something else. So we're just gonna go right here below the body segment. You can see some light on here, right below the body segment. I'm gonna go through here. It's a little thicker too, so the other one I went through the uh oh, I'm gonna go through where the white and white keep the white down. So same thing. We're gonna make sure we keep the the white part of the worm down. It's about middle. Looks like I'm, I can't tell if I'm a little top heavy or bottom heavy though. But this one definitely has a little more weight to it. Should allow me to throw it better. But you know who this is. All right, let's step I got here on the rock and try to go back over there where I was. I feel like that's going to be my best bet to catch something over yonder. A little further. Not much. Trying to get over there in front of that tree again. Oh, don't get in the tree. There we go. Alright, well, the last time we're going over there. Snagged again. I'm trying to move. Walked right, right into my line. Another fish, another line. <clears throat> oh, there it goes. That time it broke. All right. So we're trying to get on the back side of this pond here. And we are traipsing our little hineys through some, uh, some rockiness. Try not to get uh, too much grossness that's one of the reasons whoa i need to get some uh wading boots so i can wade through some some stuff if need be definitely some thorns everywhere this is one of the great things though i need a gym membership when you try to get back here to fish all this crazy stuff and go where no one else will I throw my foot. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Squishy, squishy. Alright. We have made it. Trying to avoid the thorn trees. Ouch! Didn't avoid it. I made it! <laughs> Back to the bag. Hopefully, I got these guys up top. Push them around. One of the coolest things is one of the uh, little free bill bait boxes. It fits just beautifully in the in the top of this uh, in this Ozark trail. You can keep keep your worms. I don't know if you can keep uh, keep any of your fishes in there or not I doubt it probably wouldn't be good but with more and more they've got the worms where they can exist without refrigeration for longer especially if you fish a lot works beautifully sometimes they get out though I will warn you so all right bobber down bobber down so it's probably gonna blow this way because of how the wind is and even as small as those bobbers are they still catch wind all right so after our last snag we went back to the watermelon laminate actually i've done hooked this thing upside down from where i want it i want green up white down so all right. all right so where would you fish with this right now i've got hey, there's a snake look at that definitely going to shoo him off with this stick real quick Psst. Psst. <laughs> not about the snake life Watch out for that now. I'm just thinking AO 
right now with the Guggen squad. He'd be screaming and running. That's good though. See, see life in an area? Definitely means there's something going on, so. Bunch of stuff all right here. There you go, me. There's all kind of stuff was up here hanging out. Just spooked it all off. We got another box. Oh, whoa, good one. A little worm bite here. Oh, wow, it's pretty. Very, very pretty. Whoa, look at that ear pattern on this one. It's very, very pretty. All right, buddy. All righty. There we go. Get some sun on this guy. See if we can see what he looks like in the sun. Look at that, very, very pretty. Some red eyes. All right, good job, way to go friend, thank you. All right, there you go. I keep throwing my bobber right in the spot where I wanna throw this, so I'm just gonna chuck it out there and see if anything's out there. I doubt it, but you never know what's sitting over there waiting for a big worm to fall down real slow. Give it a tip number three thousand. I'm gonna try to go over this dock on the side cast. Oh wow, look at there. That's exactly what I wanted it to actually. <laughs> well, give me some rewards for that. I always have hope that I'll catch something. Looks like I've done scared off my burn friends. All right, got him. Right. Another worm catch. What do we get? Dang, he's going way up in the shallows. Good size one. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, good size one. Come on, calm down, calm down. Another good size one. He has nobbled, nobbled the hook though. So, but yeah, we'll get, we'll get him out here and see if we can't get him gone. All right, realist. About to wrap it up. Just 
wanted to stop and take a second and just kind of recap what we've gone through today. So we've been using our uh, Ozark Trail Grit Stick. It has held up super well. Done great. Haven't caught anything huge on it, so we don't know how well it fights. But it's a good old budget rod from Walmart, Ozark Trail. Enjoy it so far. But the tail of the day with the wacky rig and the places that we've been fishing. Like I said, I'm a bank fisherman. Um, it's all the only option I've got right now. So the places we've been fishing, I've gotten snagged. So I've lost. This will be this will be the third hook I've lost. I don't know. I don't know if I'll put them all in the video or not. Lost three hooks, four worms, um, and all of this. So. As far as that goes, that's really frustrating. Um, so I might need to either look into using some of the weedless options um, that they've got out there for hooks to do this, to do wacky rigging, or I need to make sure when I wacky rig, I'm not in a location that's gonna be snag prone. Um, but unfortunately in the area we live, where I live, some of you guys that are following me probably know where I'm at. Um, but the area that I'm in has a lot of rocks and uh, makes it hard to fish without snagging. So, um, cool. I've been known to cut the wrong string often. Um, so sweet. So we've got ourselves tied back on here. I said right now, I said the, the live worm has been the MVP. Um, I said we could do a versus uh, live worm versus uh, wacky rig video if you wanted to, but this is just really going to be about, like I said, settling down with the wacky rig and try to do that. So we've done the green pumpkin. I'm probably going to stick with the five inch yum dinger just because since I'm fishing at weightless, um, I want to make sure it goes the, as far as it can. So um, basically, we're just going to round out the video. Um, tossing the live bait, tossing the live worm in there, and then uh, trying to see if other spots we can get here. It's weird because I feel like they are, um, they are, they are swinging up and attacking like way more shallow than even I thought they would be. So there's the wacky rig. So um, let me know what in the video uh, which which type of um, setup you would like me to try out next. Um, we will do our best to do that again. Settle down, try out a different method, try out the best one that works, and uh, like I said we'll keep going from there. So hopefully we'll catch a fish in the next couple of little bits. If not, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day. Hopefully wherever you are is amazing. And as always, hopefully see you on the reel real soon.